Hi guys, in today's video, I'll be teaching you how to add an advanced reporting system on a leaderboard to your Gorilla Tag fan game. Now, this is practically the same thing as in Gorilla Tag, and it has more. This has reporting, muting, and kicking, and it also shows the color of the player. It shows the player's names, of course. This was made by Not Hacking. His Discord name is Not Hacking. I think his channel is Max Nifty Nine. I don't know. Whatever credits he wants is in the description. So shout out to him. This video might be a bit longer than usual. I really don't know. Maybe it's normal length. I, I don't really know. The Unity package for this will be my Discord server link in the description and in the Google Drive link, also link in the description. If something does work for you or you need any help from my Discord server link in the description. Anyways, guys, let's get straight into the video. So here we're in our game. To start out, download the package, either my Discord server or in the Google Drive link. Drag it into Unity or right click, import package, custom package, find it, double click on it. And once you do this, this will pop up. Make sure everything is selected and click import. Now a new folder will pop up here called reporting. Just go into it and then just drag in the leaderboard prefab here. Now you can rotate this however you want. I'm just going to right click prefab and unpack completely. Now let me just add color to everything. So pretty much how this works. There's reporting. Now reporting doesn't have three reporting options. If you're kind of advanced, you could edit this to make it like that. But honestly, I don't really see a point because you know, a report is a report. It means they did something wrong. So what this does, you report them and it sends the report through a discord webhook, which we're about to make in a second. And it shows their playfab ID and it shows who it reported. Now for this to work, you need to follow my photon VR tutorial, link in the description. And you need to follow my playfab tutorial, also link in the description. Now, as you can see, this has a leaderboard script and it has the photon view on it. Now, the webhook URL is already in here. This is my old one. There's display spots and color spots. Pretty much the display spots are each of the name text. Color spots are each of these things here that shows the color. If it doesn't show up, just make sure those are all in order. Also, make sure on this photon view, owner transfer is on takeover. Now, for PlayFab login here, just click this circle here. Go to PlayFab Manager or wherever your PlayFab login script and double click on that. Oh, also for this to work, you do need to follow my, my photon name computer tutorial. So that'll be in the description of this video too. So in leaderboard here, you're going to go to webhook URL. Now you're going to go to Discord. Go to your Discord server for your game. If you don't have one, then I guess make one. Or you could just make one specialized for reporting. Make a new channel called reporting. Go to edit channel. Go to integrations. Go to webhooks. Click new webhook. Click on it. And just name it report bot or something like that. Click save changes. Make sure the channel is in reporting or whatever channel you want to show up in. Click copy webhook URL. Then go back to Unity. Go to your leaderboard. Then paste in your webhook URL here. Select all your report buttons. So select one, hold down control, and then click on all of these report buttons here. Just like this. Now here it says press material. This is the material that's going to put on when it presses. So for me, I'm just going to do red. Now, the same thing for the mute buttons. Select all the mute buttons and do the same thing, drag in red or whatever. Now, if you're wondering why this is here, that's just because when you're in a lobby, it'll, you know, change the text to the people in the lobby. But if you're not in the lobby, it's just there to say, hey, you're not a lobby. Now, one more thing, make sure that in each of the spots, so for example, this is the first spot, make sure button number is on one for all of these. Name text, just don't change this for any of these. I set everything up perfectly, so you shouldn't need to move anything now what you want to do here hand tag make sure on the report button and mute buttons on all of these hand tag is set to hand tag spelt exactly like this no spaces capitalized exactly like this now go to your gorilla rig go to gorilla player go to your left hand and right hand go to tag and make sure it has hand tag if you don't have that click add tag click the plus type in hand tag once again spelt and capitalized exactly like that then select these both again go to tag and make it hand tag now for layer go on the left hand or right hand or whatever on layer click the plus click add layer and on any layer here i don't know it doesn't really matter just type in left hand and do another one make it right hand now in left hand controller go to layer make it left hand on right hand controller go to the layer make it right hand now select them both and click add components just for a sphere collider click on it turn on is trigger and make the radius 0 0.06 okay now your hands are all set up you know once again make sure these buttons are all good if it doesn't say leaderboard just drag in the leaderboard here the main leaderboard here and you know make sure the report and mute are all like set up okay now for kicking now, as you can see it's disabled right now it's called leaderboard kick i'm just going to enable it so you can see now on all of these kick buttons you don't need to configure them now on all of these kick buttons make sure make sure that button number is set to you know whatever button number it is Make sure leaderboard is there and make sure that hand tag is, you know, hand tag, whatever your hand tag is called. Now, leaderboard kick, the reason why I had it disabled is because you won't want normal people to 
be able to kick each other so disable it go to your playfab manager this is assuming you follow my playfab tutorial if you didn't then there's no point of doing this so go to your playfab manager drag leaderboard kick into where it says special items now go to leaderboard kick copy the name leaderboard kick go to your playfab here go to economy go to catalogs legacy now if you don't already have a catalog just click new catalog name it like items or something Then go into your catalog, click new item, and then for item ID, just click control V for item ID, item class, and display name. Those are all good. Make sure it's the exact same name as what it shows in Unity. Then click save item. Now go to players, find your player. You could load into the game. So go to search, click on your player, and go to inventory legacy. Click select item and do leaderboard kick and click grant item. Now you can close out of that. Now make sure to save this. And now we can test it out. So let's click the play button here. Now as you can see, we're loaded in and it shows our player color. To let you guys know for the color to work, you do need to follow my colors tutorial. Link in the description. So all the tutorials you need to follow for this to like work will be in the description or you know assuming you're using like the photon vr color the color of the player as you can see shows up there now muting does work of course we can't really test it out because you know we'd be testing it out on ourselves, and that's kind of weird now let's test out the reporting so i'm gonna go here and you can report yourself so as you can see we reported ourselves you can only report someone once so you can't spam report it now to see if this works go to your discord and as you can see this person and their player id was reported by this person it doesn't show the other person's player id but this is the person that was reported so now if you want to ban them or something just copy their player id so once you've copied your id to the player that you want to ban go to players paste in the id and click search and then their playfab id shows up to show you what kicking does it doesn't kick them from the game because that would be easy for them to just rejoin it actually kicks them from the photon server as you can see so it says you have been kicked and there we go they would have to restart their game to join back or i guess they could go to the servers and just rejoin but it kicks them from the server not from the game it's practically the same thing and yeah there we go it all works anyways guys i hope that tutorial really helped you out a lot once again huge shout out to max nifty nine for making this subscribe to him follow him his credits will be in the description so do whatever you want with that a lot of hard work went into this you know where to find the scripts at my discord server and in the google drive file join my discord server link in the description if you need any help with this or if you just want to be part of my awesome community because i'm active in my server like and subscribe it helps me out so much you don't even understand please consider becoming a channel member because it's only two dollars a month and you get so many awesome perks including getting a shout out at the end of every single video that i make just like the people on the screen right now anyways guys thank you guys so much for watching yeah it's for me today peace